Oh, hey, you're here already. I'm so glad that you've joined me for today. Of course, we're going to do some math together and I've got some of my supplies with me. So, what do you say we get started? You can see I've got some fruit for us to think about today. I hope I don't make you too hungry. Have a snack after math. So one of the things I want you to think about um, is just comparing the size. <laughs> my lemons are quite a bit larger than my strawberries, right? But I'm wondering if you have an idea of which one of my piles has more in it and which pile has less. In other words, <laughs> Does my alligator want to eat the lemons or will my alligator want to eat those strawberries? So let's, <clears throat> let's find out. How about we just line up our fruit and see? So we've got our strawberries and our lemons. And since I really am comparing my sets and I really want to know which set has more and I'll want to know how many more. I'm really trying to make sure that my lemons and my strawberries go right next to each other. And you can see I've taken care of my lemons, but I still have some strawberries left, don't I? So we're going to finish up with our strawberries there. Okay, now, if you were a hungry alligator, which set would you like to eat? <laughs> I would like to eat those strawberries too. There are more of them. The set of strawberries is greater than the set of lemons. But I'd like to know what the difference is. How many more strawberries we have than lemons? We can definitely count them, can't we, and see them. But how about we think about it as an equation too? I really think that our little bunny friend just loves it when we get together to do math. She's keeping me good company and I think that um, we're gonna show her a little something here. So we can make an equation here but we have to know what our totals are. You know what I like to do? I just like to count by twos sometimes to figure things out. Let's count our strawberries together by twos. Two. Four, six, eight, nine. We have a total of nine strawberries. Um, I want to know what the difference is between the set of strawberries and the set of lemons. So guess what? We're going to think of our set of strawberries as like our whole. We're starting off with the big number, the nine. Okay. So in order to figure out the difference, we're going to do some subtracting. Remember that word difference and subtraction go together. Let's figure out how many lemons there are. Two, four, six. Were you able to see that ahead of time even before I counted them? We have a large group of nine. We can think of that as our whole. And then we can think of this as a part. And we would like to know what the difference between the two is. And it turns out that the difference is one, two, three, nine, take away six equals three. I'm going to write this word that I've been saying for us. I really want you to see it. We are looking at the difference in between our sets. We are comparing them and we're thinking about which is greater and which one is less. And that really helps us know when we are working a subtraction problem what the whole is and what the part is. So let me show this one other way. I'm going to put our yummy treats to the side for a second. And and the other day, we got talking about doing um, a, like a bar or a model to show our equation. 
So I'd like to show that to you as well. Now, teachers, I really feel like a lot of students just need to have this modeled for them. It might be a little early to ask our students to do this work on their own. If I think about nine as my total and I want to think about my parts, I had six lemons and I want to know what else I have or what the difference is between nine and six so we can put our three in there. One last way, you know one of my favorite things when it comes to math is show me another way. Think about it another way. We can say we have nine as our whole, three as one part, six as our other part. Remember um, how we were talking the other day where we, we talked about, you know, we can cover up one of the parts. So I can think about nine minus six equals, you got it, three. How about the other part? Nine minus three equals, Six. You got it. So I would like you to practice that with other numbers and other equations and I want you to be thinking about which set has more, which set has less, and what the difference is when you go to work on your textbook and your workbook today. And I'll see you back here next time. Want to say goodbye to our friends?